Recently, Stafford Elementary School students might have thought the rodeo came to town a little early, but this was a special visit from a bovine ambassador and her two-legged partner. It's paid for by the dairy farmers. It's a free program where we come out, we talk to the kids uh, about the importance of milk. Uh, we show how we get the milk from the cow to the table. We talk to the kids about everything the cow has to do on a daily basis and the dairy farmer. Now, most people think this cow makes milk because she's a cow. Well, that's her job is to make milk for us, right? Wrong. She does not make milk for us. She has no earthly idea we drink her milk, and I'm pretty sure she wouldn't care that it's good for us. But she does have to do three things before she can make our milk. First thing she's got to do, she's got to drink. What does she drink? Water. Water. Good job. Y'all realize how many people tell me she drinks milk? One of the biggest misconceptions I hear is uh, that brown cows make chocolate milk. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's funny, but they're really shocked when you know they find out that um, all cows make white milk. Most people today are so removed from the farm they don't understand the, the animal husbandry that these farmers have to go through. Taking care of these cows, making sure they're comfortable and happy is a very big part of that day. Um, and, and to see that happen is, is, is very important. Seeing the smiles on the kids' faces when they come out and see the cow. Most of these kids have never seen a cow this close. Um, some of them have never even seen a cow before, so it, it's a great program for that. One of the biggest things is that, that, that milk's a good, clean, wholesome product. Um, that we need, you know, three to four servings of dairy products every day to help build our muscles, help build our bones, and help us grow big and strong. The mobile dairy classroom makes the lessons the students learn in class come vibrantly to life. I think the kids were really excited to have the cow come over to the school. Um, most of them only get to see a cow maybe at a farm or during the rodeo. So to have the cow come over to the school uh, and be right up close, I think they enjoyed the experience. We were studying the animal needs uh, this semester in science. So we were able to have the cow come in. We could look at the parts of the cow. We could learn uh, what the cow drank for survival. And we could also learn that um, where our milk came from. Well, when the kids found out about it, they, they were thinking that it was gonna be like a robotic cow or some sort of mechanized cow. And then they came out here and they actually saw it was an actual cow. They thought that they were gonna get to see like how to hand milk the cow. Most of them didn't realize that there were machines that milked the cows now. Um, I did not know that they had such long tongues. Or that they didn't have top teeth. The kids thought that was pretty cool too. There's a direct correlation from what they saw here to the teaks that we teach in both science and social studies. They see how products go from nature and follow it all the way through to the consumer with the processing and all that stuff. So much of science education is about experiences in the natural world and a lot of these are city kids that have never have never been anywhere to see a cow up close. So seeing the reactions on their faces, the expressions and the oohs and ahs, I think that was pretty cool for me. For more information about the milk that goes with your cookies, visit www.southwestdairyfarmers.com. For more on science at Stafford MSD, visit the district's website at www.staffordmsd.org. For Spartan Spotlight, I'm Stacy Hawkins.